ED214 Network podcast is for mature audiences only. Any videos, music, or entertainment not originating from DD214 Network is used and covered under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, also known as Fair Use. Opinions expressed are our own and do not represent any DOD or U.S. government entities as a whole. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. You are no longer alone now, because we have you. How's it going, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to episode 166. We are 500 away from episode 666. Nice. That'll be be a fun one. Oh, man. How's how's everybody feeling today? My math's correct. By the time we hit episode 666, me and John will finally be in our 40s. (laughs) Yeah, probably. Yeah. Is is the math... is the math, I'm to math, do the math right now? Like what? 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 what like five hundred weeks from now would be like what? Ten years? It's about ten years. A little bit less than ten years. So yeah. yeah so you know, mid forties. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be in my fifties by then. Yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. So that yeah. will be walking around with a cane. So that will yeah. be February twelfth, twenty thirty four. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be. Uh, uh, I'll be I, I would be. Uh, 53. That's uh, 30, 3,500 days. I'll be a couple weeks away for uh, a couple months away from my uh, 45th birthday. <laughs> so, so we are 3,500 episodes away from episode 666. Incredible. Incredible. But yeah, uh, lots of things to talk about. I think we should save the good stuff for just a little bit later. Um, sure. how, how was your week, guys? Did you do anything fun? nothing not really a lot of note uh more more just uh regular week regular like you know during the week stuff i guess if you want to call that and then uh Mm kind of just you know a little bit of relaxing a little bit of stuff around the house some chores some house chores kind of just kind of just hanging in man kind of just hanging in like i can't really don't really have much to report on that front other than just it's summer it's summertime so i'm I'm staying inside as much as possible yeah it's it's hot it's it is. hot. Yeah. It's hot. I mean, Get a little spicy out there. Get a little spicy. Same, yeah. same shit, different week, you know, work, fucking trying to st- same as Jay, trying to st- stay inside as much as fucking possible with how hot it is out. Um yesterday we did uh the the wife and the in-laws did a garage sale. I had nothing to sell during said garage sale because everything I've got cost way too much to sell at a garage sale. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so today I've got a whole bunch of fucking old tech shit that I'm posting up on like Facebook Marketplace to try to get rid of. There you go. Um <clears throat> mean, watch, money back, huh? Yeah. Watch the uh, watch the new episode of the boys, the new episode of Acolyte, new episode of uh Evil. Hey, are you still are you hey, still dude. enjoying are you still enjoying the boys, Joe? Yeah. I'm I'm curious. I've I've seen a couple different things on the uh the interwebs about this 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 current season and not apparently not all the uh not all the uh the reviews are glowing so i think i i I, I th- it's not their best season it's okay. probably their second best season okay but it, it, it it's like it's very explosive it doesn't though sound, it doesn't sound I mean, bad 
I mean, my thing is with the boys, it's one of those at this point, if you're if you're up to this season, you know what to expect with the show. Right. And the episodes, because I mean, like it's every season so far is done something my brother. That has still yet to cease to amaze me as far as like the gore and the action and some of the shit that gets pulled off in it. Right. I mean, we have a fucking soup that lobotomizes herself so she can be stupid for 24 hours. Yeah. She, right. That's that sounds very par for the course for the boys. Yeah, but then yeah. there then there's some human and octopus interaction and um Yeah. Yeah, but but hey, but I got to ask you Scolini and we're going to get to the good stuff just a little later, but with everything that happened yesterday and that last episode, isn't it kind of in- it weird? Yeah. Um <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> Yeah, they were they were just talking about how a specific character they can't they couldn't figure out who it was or whatever, and they were gonna assassinate the 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 president like that that was that was a major plot point of that latest episode, mm-hmm. like that 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 was and then like they played a crazy town song and the uh, shifty shell shock just died recently, so that yeah. was another like that was like whoa, yeah, and then we've had yeah. we've had a couple of. Uh... Right on, Jim, and that's pretty badass, dude. Good shit, man. Mm-hmm. Keep up on that. Keep up on that. Share share resources with your communities, man. Freaking volunteer your time. That's good shit, Jim. Awesome. Um, they we 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 lost a couple of uh we've lost a couple of celebrities this week. Yes, we, we did. Uh, we, we start we start it started off with with Shelly Duvall. Shelly Duvall, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, she and, passed. and go ahead. You know, it's so interesting. <laughs> Um, to know that she lasted this long on this earth, knowing right. the pain that she was going through, you know, and there was a video. I can't remember who the content creator was, but he was like a, a horror buff and he would visit like uh horror locations. Uh-huh. And, and in one of his episodes, he actually had the chance to meet Shelly Duvall, nice. who, who unfortunately didn't look like she was living in the best conditions, but you know, she got to speak about her experiences and she was really honest about like some stuff about it. If I could find that yeah. video, I will make sure to link it over to you guys. But that maybe sure. was like two mm-hmm. years ago, maybe a year, two years ago. Right. Uh, but, you know, it, real shame, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Olive then, oil, you know? Yeah, she was olive oil. She was. Mm-hmm. Olive oil, olive oil and Win- Wendy Torrance, man. Yeah, right. I mean, and then oh. right after that, we lost um, Doctor well, Ruth. Doctor Ruth. So I'm Dr. not. Ruth. I I was. I had yeah. to ask my wife about. I'm. I was not uh, actually not very familiar with Doctor Ruth at all. I didn't. Yeah. I don't know. She's a, a very well known like sex therapist. Sex therapist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's like, what my wife uh, was telling me. And she had like a late night TV show, mm-hmm. radio. Yeah, radio for years, like TV shows. Come, she was she was like a, a guest on like the Tonight Show about a billion times. I think no shit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, um, she, she, she made she made the rounds back in the day for sure. Yeah, and then who did we lose right after that? Richard Simmons. Richard, Simmons. Richard fucking yeah. Simmons. That shit, I ain't gonna lie, dude. That that one kind of fucking depressed me. Like when well, like the know, happy, when like the happy people fucking pass on. You know, it's like yeah. You know I, will, ne- I will never be even a percentage of how goddamn like bright and happy and like jovial that man is or was and- <laughs> his entire life. And it's like it like that one kind of hurt my heart because yeah, like, you know, it's it very so sad too. It's super <laughs> sad too because like you know that uh Paulie Shore was trying to make the movie about him. Um who who are you talking about, Jamin? If I'm correct. Dr. Ruth was a. Was she really? Oh, uh, was she? She was a uh, a Holocaust survivor. I'm looking it up right now. I think I think I think I think she was. I think you're right. Yeah, I was born in Germany to a Jewish family. Yep. Oh, you uh, you so... you learn something new every day. Yeah, yeah I honestly she... had no idea. I had no idea yep, about so... that. As the Nazis came to power, her parents sent her to a school in Switzerland for safety while they remained behind because of her elderly grandmother. Oh, Both her shit. parents were killed in concentration camps. Um, 
Yep. Damn, that really puts a that really puts a lump in your throat right there, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, we we lost Richard. Um, you know, he was in the news. My uncle had Richard Simmons his radio show with Mayor Koch. That's that's mm-hmm. awesome, and it's so because they Paulie Shore really wanted. He made that that beautiful short. I don't know if you got to watch it uh, that oh, Paulie Shore yeah. made. It was really good, and man, you know, rest in peace. And then this morning, we woke we woke up to Shannon uh, Doherty. Miss, Miss Doherty, yeah, Shannon yeah. Doherty. Wait, away. I yeah. haven't even seen that yet, but. Oh yeah, she. Uh, that's she was that's breaking. Yep. Fifty three, fifty three, and she had the, some cancer, and that mm. unfortunately, that's uh, yeah, she passed oh. away. Passed away like last night. So that's yeah, it's unfortunate. That's, that is unfortunate. I mean, it's been it's been an unfortunate week for some. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The our thoughts and prayers go to the families of those. You know, it's it's ah absolutely. man, you know, and it's not like. You know, these are kind of legends in the game, right? So yeah, you know? yeah. And they, and they did they made they made they made they made some pretty big marks. They made some pretty big marks uh throughout their own personal histories um in order to be be so well known by by and and beloved by so many, right? Yeah. So, yeah, like it was well, and, you know, anytime you lose a couple two or three celebrities like within X amount of time anyways, it gets kind of it's a little spooky, right? It's a little dicey. Yep. Yeah, but okay. this last week, this last week, we kind of, kind of like been one, one right after the other, basically. Yeah. So. Yes. Uh, so I'll brighten it up real quick. Uh, this week was my son's twelfth birthday, and oh yeah, dude, twelfth you know, birthday. Huh? All it's right. it's All kind right. of surreal. Surreal. A year away from teenage years. Being a teenager. Yeah, being a teenager. Yep. I'm in the uh, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same yeah. boat. Yeah, Jam, and we're gonna get to that soon. We're kind, yes, we're kind we of just, yes, we're, we're, we're yes, hanging we on to that to let more people come in and stuff like that, so that we can have a full on conversation yeah, gonna, about gonna, it. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have a little conversation about it for sure. Yeah, but, uh, and I'm just gonna say right now, if anyone says any kind of hate, hate speech, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ban you. Yeah, today. we don't, yeah, we don't, we don't do that here. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, I will repeat that a couple of times when we get back, when we get to the story. Uh, but yeah, went to a water park this week for his birthday. Um, holy shit, do I fucking love water? Okay, there's just it's like, like you guys are having fun. I saw some of the, the pictures you sent, the video, and it like, looks like yeah. you guys are having fun. Did you see the video of, of the slow motion video of my son? Yeah, yeah, I saw that that you posted yeah. on your Facebook. That camera is fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm just fucking saying. Uh, but I and you know what? I I keep I can't get it out of my head. I, worlds of worlds of fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, like, and like I I just want to go there so fucking bad you know because you know there's a water park next door, right? Called Oceans of Fun. That's that's the one. That's the one. I. That's what I meant to say. Oceans of fun. Oceans of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know that. I, like, I'm a water park fanatic, man. I fucking mm-hmm. love water parks. And you know, I look. I'm not gonna lie. There was some questionable stuff going on with the slides, so I didn't really do the slides. You know, some weebly it's wobbly. I. You know, my kid did the lazy river half the time. Which how can you not like the lazy river? It's the best part of the water park. You know. I do I do enjoy slides, but something in my intuition was telling me to be a chicken shit that day. But I did, you know, the rope swing, you know, and then there was a yeah. hot tub. I was in the hot tub. Holy shit. 30. 30th. That's a that's a big number right there, Jam. And happy birthday to him. Nice. But yeah, it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And you know, don't I got nothing to say about nothing to watch. I didn't watch no TV this week. I just I watched the boys like Squilini did. Oh, Fucking right. awesome. Great, great episode, by the way. Um last episode's next week, I think. Um, so mid-season. Cause the, or I can't even say mid-season because what they did was they're splitting it into three parts for the final season. Are they is this, really? Is this the final so, season, or is there going to be one more? Or for no, this season? Because uh, I think there's one more. This. Yeah, season five. Good morning from the dungeon. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, the, right. yeah. There's one more after this. You said it's only gonna, it's going to be a three-parter. That's what I heard. No shit. 
so I mean it would I mean they should have they should put it in the movie. They should just put in three movies. Uh probably take longer, right? I would assume it would probably take longer. I'm trying to see where I can find that. Because I, I remembered seeing something about it. I'll look it up and find it while we're <laughs> talking about that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what's uh, what's he saying over here? They already got all of them done, dude. They're just trying to make some money. What? The whole thing's done? There's no way the boys already fin- started filming season five. This isn't the chosen. There's no way. <clears throat> There's no way. But uh, oh, you know what? I do want to. I do have to. I got to laugh about something. So I did finish the mole. And there's a guy that that looks like you, Squilini, except he has red hair. That would be scary, Squilini with red hair. Yeah, you want to see him? Yeah, I do. Actually. No, I do. Don't listen. Don't listen to Joe. I, I don't do. want to see this soul sucking. <laughs> yeah, I think you could. I don't know. Just don't risk it. Look. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Look, it's redhead Squilini. If Squilini, yeah. if, if Squilini was like an attention-seeking whore with red hair, right? Oh, no. shit. <clears throat> he totally looks uh, a lot more uh, liberal than I am. Yeah, that's the word we're going to use, okay? <laughs> that's the word we're going to use, Squilini, okay? Don't go, more, any fr- don't go any further than that, all right? But let's, more uh, passive. Just a little bit more passive. Yeah, so, all right, so let's talk about it. Let's get to the nitty-gritty. History was made yesterday. Holy shit. In Pennsylvania. Oh, um, goddamn, Jay, goddamn you want to break it down? Like, I, I it, it is absolutely insane that we are living in a timeline while we're living and breathing where an, a, a former American president who is currently running for office mm-hmm. They tried to somebody tried to shoot him yesterday. Someone tried someone tried to assassinate yeah. him. That's not that's no fucking bueno. We don't like p- political violence has no place in our country at all. It does no. not. And, and like and but I, I'm like holy crap he survived. Like and then and I mean by 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 like by a whisker. Like that they're, they're, have you seen that picture of uh you can see the mm-hmm. streak of the bullet like yeah. flying past him like that holy Shit. Yeah, it was I was that, trying. Was I was trying. Photo to... was snapping a picture at the fucking right time. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I'm like trying to put it up, but but fucking um, Melon is not get, allowing me to upload the photo right now. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Challenge accepted. Shit, <laughs> Squeen yeah. is like gosh, bitch. Like, but yeah, like like the the the, uh, the audacity, dude, and then the. The audacity, the audacity of somebody attempting to um, assassinate uh, a, a former president in any, in, you know, like just holy crap, dude! Holy crap! You know what I mean? Like it just—I don't—I don't even know what to say about it, other than freaking like, you know. I all, saw all that. The, I don't even know what to say about uh, a lot of it, other other than like this is like this kind of shit is like not how we do things. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, this is, this is not how we fucking do things. And man, it barely missed him. Like barely, barely. Like it, it nicked, it nicked him. He got you hit. Know, and this is what's like, interesting like, to me, right? Oh dude. This is what's interesting to me. So he's looking this way, right? Yeah. Then he turns his head. Yeah. And then boink. And as soon you know, if if his face was probably turned towards the front, yeah, he probably would have been a goner. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. that's that's kind of that. I'm I'm kind of in the in the same boat. Like he he turned his head at just the yeah. right moment, and and probably that turning of his head was probably what saved his life. And then thank goodness, because the lady the lady got hit with the with, the, with that bullet, 
like and she and she died. passed away unfortunately. Yeah, she passed away unfortunately. And then obviously the mm-hmm. uh the, the shooter the shooter was taken down. But good god, dude. Like like what 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 a epic shit show. Yeah, so I, I, let's get let so I'd like to t- I'd really like to talk about this for a while if you don't mind cuz this is huge. You know, this we, is this, this we, is we normally, history. We, we we normally try to stay a- apolitical on this show. We don't really we don't get into politics too much, obviously, for reasons. Uh, this is one that's kind of hard to ignore. So I we, would say this we, is really we, us getting into politics, talking about this. This is us talking about a current world event that this just is societal. Happened. It's societal. Yes, yeah. and, it, and it and it is it is a big deal, and, and it needs to be discussed because uh, shit like this has no place in a polite society. I no. don't care, I don't care uh, who, who you who you vote for, vote for or what you worship. Or any of that stuff, uh, this kind of stuff has no place in a polite society. Yeah, and, and that's really that, that does need to be discussed. Like, f- fucking fuck the guy, fuck fuck the guy taking shots at Trump, dude. Like, fuck that asshole, whoever the yeah. fuck, whoever, whoever the fuck he is. Uh, yeah, like, and and then here and then here's another thing too. Well, they like, already identified who who the shooter was. Yeah, they identif- they they released all really? the information today. And, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And his there name. were there's records of he was like a 20 year old, so this would have yep. technically been 20. his first time being able to vote. So he's a 20, kid. He's a so fucking he, kid. He's a 20 year old from Pittsburgh named Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. That that's who he is. Um, and he, they they released some bank records showing like groups he donated to and. <laughs> He was a, and one thing that's very interesting about this is that he was a registered Republican. Huh. Well, so this this is where I'm going to go on to this. Yeah. He's also, he's, 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 he definitely sounds very 20 years old. You know what I mean? Because here's the thing in a lot of states, to vote in the primaries, you have to be registered Republican or Democrat to be able to vote in the primaries. Correct. When the main election happens, no matter what you're registered as, you don't have to vote your party. Primaries, you do. A lot right. of people will register in the opposite party of what they actually are. So during the primaries, if there's somebody up running that they don't want, they'll vote for the other person in that party it's to try possible. to block them from possible. actually making it on the ballot. Well, he's yeah. fucking dead now, so he, we won't uh, have to worry about him him voting ever again. Yeah. But. So, and, and one thing I do want to talk about is his. Now, look, some people I've seen people, and look, everyone has their own opinion. Some I've seen some people say, "Oh, yeah, the shooter missed." Um, yeah, no shit, he missed because obviously yep. his intent was to kill him. Um, right. People making like very interesting comments about it but it's this is not about a political thing this is about a presidential candidate no matter what party being a being a target being a target yeah yeah surviving surviving assassination yep an attempted assassination and it's it's like it's a a big fucking deal and 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 i have to i have to say as much as i might not be a big fan of donald trump when he stood up and like shook his fist at, at the crowd and told him to fight like yep that that shit goes hard bro that, like i can i can res- i can respect some shit like that like get, damn damn near getting damn near getting getting your freaking like getting your freaking uh, no- noodle noodle no- knocked you know and your your melon your melon fucking cracked open yeah. and standing basically standing up and saying fuck you like i'm i can dig that shit dude that that that, that shit that shit went hard. I don't care who you are. Freaking that shit went fucking hard. Fucking props, props to the former yeah. president on that one. I was like, <laughs> right here, because I was just Jake about to go into his whole fucking afterwards. Like the Secret Service is still trying to hold his ass down, and he jumps. And he's like up, fucking fight. shouting at the crowd, telling him to fight. That's like fucking a, fucking a Donald, uh, uh, fucking uh, a Donald. Uh, 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 uh. Like, I'm ah. telling you, man, this guy, this, like, this, 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 our former, our former president, he has, like, I, I've never seen a person that has, has, like, the luck of the devil like he does. You talk about yeah. being, like, lucky son of a bitch, dude, but God, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that he's okay. I am, I am, I'm very, very glad that he's okay. I'm very sorry hmm. for the, uh, the families of uh the one victim and then the family and loved ones of the uh the shooter 
unfortunately have to freaking like deal with deal with all that yeah but yeah i'll tell you i'll tell you what dude like we we, we definitely live in interesting times but i'm glad i'm yeah. glad i'm glad he is still alive so that when our nation goes to the polls in november you know we'll have a, a fucking election you know what i mean yeah. like so what uh that response type what what are your thoughts on the response type of all this because there are reports coming that's up a that, massive security breach that's a yeah. massive security breach there's like so that, that shit. roof the shooter was on should have already been covered he should have never been able to get up there and do that yep that and was right bad in, bad bad in, bad bad look any really other circumstances look. in every other political campaign for ra during rallies where a president or an ex-president's there that roof would have already been fucking covered. Yep. That's, and I mean, not standard, only covered, they would have had, they, the Secret Service typically would have had a sniper on that fucking roof because of the perfect line of sight to the podium where, where President Trump was speaking. Yep. So yeah, that's, somebody, somebody going to lose some, some jobs over this one. Like, that was, that was a, a extremely poor showing from a lot of the different security services yeah you know whether it's secret service local local pd uh whoever the fuck else was there dude like that yeah that should not even that, that that should have been squashed fucking way the fuck before any of the bad shit happened like donald trump almost got fucking killed dude like yeah. can you imagine the absolute it's already a shit show right now just because this happened can you today's, imagine today's show could have been a way different conversation holy fucking mm -hmm. shit the shit show, bro. If 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 yeah. he had gotten fucking if he had gotten dumb pieced, like what a fucking shit show that would have started. And, like, you know, oh my god. There's there's things, you know, it's mm. it's one of those things like I'm I'm one of those people, I look at it as not not this specific situation, but like just when it comes to all the presidents that I've had in my lifetime that I've legally was old enough to vote for. Mm-hmm. Because I think I turned 18 during Obama's first election. Okay. I, I'm not 100% sure on that. Every president we've had since I've Bit become of a legal adult by, you know, age standards. Every one of them has had, has done things, said things, and shit that I haven't agreed with. But these people out here doing this dumb shit, like going to a fucking rally and shooting at a fucking president. Right. That's or, exactly. you know, if we go back to the fucking January 6th, fucking takeover in DC, which the yeah, boys so. spoke about too. Yeah. It's like all that shit was just the, I get it. You don't like something that happened. Get the fuck over it. Yeah. This is a, th like, that's, and, and that goes back to our statement earlier about this kind of shit has no business in a polite society mm -hmm. like it does it doesn't matter who we vote for what we worship you know what i mean if we worship anything at all like this it, shows this guy has gotten too much it's our goddamn this is our fucking society and the world is watching us the world the world looks to us as like to, yeah. as a beacon and like an example so like this kind this type of shit is just getting like it's stupid it, it, it's like yeah. violence for the sake of violence if I wanted to, if I wanted to do that, I would have just stayed in the fucking infantry, right? Like we don't. I, I I didn't get I didn't get out of the fucking army to come back and like turn fucking our country and our land into like some of the shitholes I've been to, right? Like that's that's the the idea is, was to come back and join polite society and become a goddamn civilian again, and and like learn how to heal from uh from yeah. from our from our metaphorical wounds, right? So yeah, like. You can't you can't do that when everybody's like running around fucking going batshit fucking around you, right? Like so no, yeah. I mean and, and that's and like, again, like we said before we even started this conversation, we try to stay away from politics and talking about politics. This We're is one talking of the about this from a societal standpoint, why. not a political standpoint. Yep. Yeah. And because now this uh we can't talk about that shit. Because people get antsy, and then like, just like what he says here, another guy I know yesterday said he should learn how to keep his mouth shut. What the fuck is that? Well, maybe yeah, he, maybe yeah. he should learn something called free speech that still exists, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, but I do have a list here of presidents that were assassinated and ones that were targeted here, and obviously, pretty much know, fucking every one of them. 
<laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like just about not not not, not necessarily. Um, this is a very specific list. Um, I mean, the first one here is obviously our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, who was well, killed yeah. by John John Wilkes Booth. He was shot in the theater, and then they found Wilkes Booth in a theater or something. They found him in the library or some shit like barn. that. I don't remember. He got, in a bar. he got tracked down. He had a fucking um, broken ankle. The next one was our 20th president, James Garfield. He was the second president to be assassinated six months after taking office. And then he uh, and it, he was killed more by uh, I think the uh, the hygiene of the doctors that were working on him than uh, necessarily the bullet. That, that, yeah, that, that, and it's it, that and it's him. interesting here too because another fact here is that Alexander Graham Bell, the telephone inventor, tried unsuccessfully to find the Dodge bullet in Garfield's chest during using a device he designed specifically for the president. And the mortally wounded president lay at the White House for several weeks, but died in September after he was taken to the Jersey Shore. He held office for six months. Uh, the next one, the next one was William McKinley. That was the early nineteen hundred, early nineteen hundreds, right? Yeah, he was shot. He was shot, and then uh, he he was shot September sixteenth, and then died a few days later on the fourteenth, after opening his second term. Hmm. Damn. And then, of course, JFK. Uh, yep. Well, we're not there yet. Uh, so this one, uh, it says here, Franklin Roosevelt, the 32nd president at the time of, of, at the time the president elect had just given a speech in Miami from the back of an open car when gunshots rang out, he was not injured, uh, in the February 1933 shooting that killed Chicago mayor Anton Cermak. Uh, and, uh, Teddy Roosevelt got shot in the chest and still gave a speech. Pretty famous for that. Yes, he did. Uh, then there was Truman, uh, who was who was they broke they broke in. It was an assassination attempt, and now we're up to Mister John F. Kennedy. You know, we know this story. Uh, mm-hmm. Gerald Ford he faced two assassination attempts. In the first attempt, uh, he was on his way to a meeting with the governor of California when Charles Manson disciple Lynette Squeaky Fromm pushed through a crowd on the street, drew a semi-automatic pistol, and pointed it at. At Ford, but the gun was not fired. And then 17 days later, another woman, Sarah Jane Moore, confronted Ford outside the hotel and she fired one shot and missed. A bystander grabbed her arm as a second shot was attempted. The next one, uh, Ronald Reagan. He was yep. leaving. He, yep, he was leaving his speech in Washington, D.C., walking to his motorcade when he was shot by John Hinckley Jr., who was in the crowd. Hmm. Yeah, that crazy motherfucker. Yep. Another attempt uh, was George W. Bush in 2005 with Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili when a hand grenade was thrown toward him. Uh, Both men were behind a bulletproof barrier when the grenade wrapped in cloth landed about 100 feet away, but the, the, the grenade did not explode and no one was hurt. And then like the one you were just talking about, Theodore Roosevelt, he was shot in Milwaukee while campaigning up to the to the return to the White House. Yeah. And then now we've got our former president, Donald Trump, added to the list because he got yep. shot, shot while shot while giving mm-hmm. a speech uh, yesterday at, at a rally in uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So, yeah. holy crap. Holy and, crap. Another, we, live, and, we live in interesting times. Another footnote to add into season four of America. So, I mean, the Absolutely. season's getting wilder. I can't, I can't wait to see the new cast changes next season. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just making sure that no matter what happens, like I'm keeping my dick out for Harambe. You know what I mean? Always like, that's for like, Harambe. What's going on, Cardenas? What's up, man? Card- Cardenas. What's up, Cardenas? The man, the my man dude. himself. My dude. So okay. what we got okay. proud here, I want to kind of make a special announcement. Um, am I allowed to talk about what we spoke about the other day? I don't see why not. It's not yeah. like, yeah, I don't see yeah, why not. Right. So we had a very nice, interesting discussion, just trying to figure out how we can incorporate more guests onto the show. Uh, it's and one thing that we, that we, and obviously you guys know this, that when we have guests, we love, you know, even without guests, we love to talk, you know, but we also want to give them a chance to be able to speak to the be to give them some of their time. So we decided, yeah. oh, shit. 
Oh, fucking A. Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. You let me know. You let me know. You know where I'm at. You know yeah, where I'm so, at. So we we have all agreed to start working on a new show for DD214 Network. Um, kind of want to bring back, like, the After Dark shows and kind of put them into a more interview format a pre-recorded interview format for you so that we can have guests and then actually kind of promote it on the live show and stuff like that because we only use so much time on Sundays uh, for many reasons, and we also want to be able to speak to other veterans as well. Absolutely. You know, so that this is a new thing that's coming. We don't know. We don't. We don't know when the first one's going to happen. I am actively reaching out to a couple people. I'm actually going to reach out to the Stone Vet crew. Um, Jay Boxwell is another one I'm going to contact. You know, and then I mean, we could have Cardenas on the show. We could have Brandon Wayne or Squalini. Mm-hmm. If you have anybody, you know, bring another them fucking, on. Another another round, another round with Bodette and uh, and Ronnie, Ronnie J. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, I was thinking, you know, yeah, I yeah, was Ace, yesterday. I was kind of thinking, Ace. you know, we kind of start back with going, doing like follow ups with people we've with the crew we've had before, mm-hmm. and then you know, like do a follow up episode with somebody, then throw in a new person in between. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, it's 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 going to be mean, fun. Shit, we got we got our. Our, we got plenty of people. We got plenty yeah. of people we can we can we can call we can call from. Yeah, like, and that's the and that's the beautiful thing about being a veteran, right? Veterans are interesting. You mm-hmm. know, there there is a veteran that has done something really fucking badass and really something cool, and then or, and then obviously has a crazy story. So those are stories that we want to, you know, Absolutely. get in there. Jam and Jack. I mean, dude, you've been you've told us your story working in Pan- Panama. We we'd love to talk to you about that. You dude, know, dude, cool. The cold warrior, the cold warriors were no joke, dude. Like, like if you if you were if you were in the military in the 1980s, like late 70s and going into the 1980s, dude. Like, like it was no bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like it was like that was about as close to a fighting war as you can get without being in a fighting war. So like shit, shit went down like regularly mm. in those days. That was like that was that was not a time to be a pussy at all. Like, like they did not play. Nobody was nobody was playing in the 80s. Nobody was playing in the 80s. That's right. So we're going to cut into some news right now. And I got some really good topics. I got some hot topics. All right. All right. I'm going to get this one out the way. Prince Harry has been given has been given the Pat Tillman Award. I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys heard about this, um, but during the ceremony, uh, Prince Harry addressed Pat Tillman's mom while accepting the Pat Tillman Award for service at the ESPYs on July 11th. Um, so his statement, as as he remembered his own mother, Princess De- Diana, he said, I'd like to begin by expressing my, great, my deepest gratitude to everyone at the Pat Tillman Foundation. I'd also like to acknowledge the Tillman family, especially Mrs. Mary Tillman, Pat's mother. Her advocacy for Pat's legacy is deeply personal and one that I respect. The bond between the mother and son is eternal and transcends even the greatest losses. Um, he also thanked the widow who started the foundation for the honor. He then went on to talk about the Invictus Games, and he revealed that he revealed the my the Miami Herald actually reported that Prince Harry would be among those honored in the ESPYs. But as a result, Pat Tillman's mom, Mary Tillman, spoke out. She was she was not there. Uh, she did not show up, and she says, I am shocked as to why they would select such a controversial and divisive individual to receive the award. There are recipients that are far more fitting. There are individuals working in the veteran community that are doing tremendous things to assist veterans, and these individuals do not have the money, resources, connections, or privilege that Prince Harry has. I feel that those types of indiv- individuals should be recognized. Interesting. Yeah. That's and. A yeah, and um, so however her pushback, the Tillman Foundation and ESPN stood by the decision to honor Harry, and ESPN, with the support of the Tillman Foundation, is honoring Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, specifically for the work of the Invict- Invictus Games Foundations as it, as it celebrates the 10th year promoting healing through the power of sport for military service members and veterans around the world. While we understand that everyone will agree with all honorees selected for any award, the Invictus Game Foundation does not does incredible work and espn believes this is the this is a cause worth celebrating um and we all know prince harry is a is a british army veteran 
He could, oh, yeah. he did he did two tours. He's even in that famous <laughs> video where he's doing the interview and the gunshots yeah. start ringing on. He gets right up and right into action. It's no that we are not taking yeah. away anything that this man no. has done because he is he is a hero in his own right. He's a, um, he's a vet. I I believe mm-hmm. that ESPN is right in choosing him, but I'm not. But I'm also not taking it away from what Mary Tillman was saying, as she is correct. There are other uh, veteran resources, like people like our guy, like our friend Doc Shup, who works with the New Jersey Veterans Network, who are constantly right. helping veterans tirelessly every single hour of the day. And that's right. not to say that. Harry's not doing that with his foundation, but it would be nice to see some smaller foundations get recognized for their for their work in the veteran space. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it, well, and it's everybody needs an advocate sometimes, and there are people that advocate for us, and then th- those people should always be recognized, like one one way or the other. Like they should they should be recognized for for their advocacy. So it's not all I got on that one word uh the next thing we have a bill would expand military death benefits for families of rotc cadets huh um jessica swan the mother said it's just been an absolute nightmare there's no aspect of our lives that are the same uh parents of young officers in training and incoming recruits who died in connection with military activities want congress to approve death benefits that that others in the armed forces already receive (laughs) so so here's here's where I can see what what they're going at with that. Yeah, it's if they're so like not if they just die at on the campus or you know in regular day to day. ROTC cadets in college they do have to go to basic training. They do go to an AIT school. They yes. do you know a lot of them are in the reserves, the Army reserves or the National Guard while they're finishing up their degree and serving with a unit and doing drill weekends and stuff like that. And yeah, if they die <laughs> during that time frame or during those training activities and stuff like that, they're actively serving in an active army unit. So, or military unit. So yeah, they should receive the life insurance and death benefits that you know, Joe Blow private over there that just got done with basic and AIT that's not going to college gets. Agreed. I actually that 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 was actually very well put. Yeah, that's I mean if shit happens when you're wearing the uniform, like you should receive some kind of compensation for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Agreed. Like that's basically yeah. that, that's what you're signing up for in, in essence. That's what you're signing up for. And yeah. unfor- unfortunately training training accidents do occur. And sometimes people <laughs> do go down in the field and it's 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 a tra- it's tragic but they should be compensated it you know like they they gave their life they gave their life like to the country basically so <laughs> yeah and even in the process of i mean even jessica swan the the mother of Mackenzie wilson 19 who died in a vehicle accident they're in uh air force reserve officer training corps you know because things like that Corps. do happen core i'm sorry Corps. i love you no, I love you too, man. Corpse has an E at the end of it. Core ends with an S. I fucking got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but this is this is something that I... <laughs> Schooling, you said that really fucking good, man. Holy shit. Well, yeah. okay. So I said that from experience. Okay. Okay. You know, I've talked about my career on here. Yes, you have. It was a very short period, a total of three months where I made the dumbass mistake of switching from active duty to reserve and quickly made the smart move to go back active duty because fuck that bullshit. Um, and in that three months that, and when I say three months, you know, technically three weekends, the reserve unit I got attached to had three or four ROTC cadets from the different colleges in the area attached to them. Okay, fuck yeah. So, you know, I've I've seen it firsthand during my time in and, you know, having ROTC cadets. And the thing is, a lot of those got or so one out of the three, he was he was green to gold. So he enlisted 
<clears throat> made it to E6 and then decided he wanted to go and commission in and started going to college, joined up into ROTC, and he was attached to the unit before he went in, and then he stayed attached to the unit after. Interesting. But okay. the other two were just pure. They went to college, got into ROTC, and... Yeah, that, well, that's that's interesting, I, and that was a very interesting perspective. Uh, the next thing I have: a U.S. sailor attempted to access President Joe Biden's medical records on the military electronics health record database and was disciplined for the infraction. Yeah, yeah the sailor who has, yeah, he has not been been identified. He searched the name hmm. Joseph Biden in the military health system Genesis, the armed service health record database and a co-worker reported it as a violation of the health insurance portability and accountability act otherwise known as HIPAA. HIPAA. Yep. Uh, presidential health care is provided by the military's white house medical unit and presidents receive treatment at walter reed national medical center in maryland mm -hmm. so yeah uh yeah don't 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 look up people's medical records anybody yeah, like don't do that shit Respect people's fucking privacy, personal space. Okay, like just because they're presidents doesn't mean we, we just go willy nilly and just what is it? What 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 in the world is there is wrong with everybody, John? You know what I mean? They're just they're just mm -hmm. they're, they're just getting really silly well, about it. So so real quick, I do I do want to backtrack a little bit. We talked about the whole Trump thing. Let's let's jump on a Biden for a second here <laughs> and something that happened this week during a speech he was giving and the day he was giving this speech just happened to be a day that vice president Harris was in North Carolina at a high school here in my town. Mm -hmm. Oh um, no shit. And during this speech, he referred to vice president Harris as vice president Trump. That's right. <laughs> And didn't he? Didn't he call Zelensky President Putin? Yeah, he called. He accidentally he, called Zelensky Putin. Like, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, this is what we get when we when we hire like eighty year eighty year olds to be our president. This is what yeah, we get know. when we kill Harambe. Yeah, <laughs> you want to know something? I was actually watching. Thank you. Thank I was watching you. like this. Um, I was watching a video from a doctor talking about like Biden, and you know, he was saying he goes, "This isn't this isn't cognitive decline. This is just natural." age yeah. development he's just getting old yeah. that's that's it I'm, he's not i'm 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 43 but i'm i notice things within myself or within like my my brain functions where i'm like that are noticeably different than they were when i was a kid or younger yeah you know what i mean where it's like yeah. i'm not getting like bad yet but i can feel it coming you know what i mean it's like, it's coming soon oh yeah oh yeah and like i imagine by the time i get about twice my age right now than I am right now. By the time you hit eighty, yeah, you're you're probably starting to slide a little bit downhill. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, I told no patience, just as important. Oh shit! He says you're young, Jay. Yeah, 43, 43 years young. Yep. Oh yep. man! So, so the next one is uh, this one. This one's actually unfortunate. A Fort Campbell soldier has been found dead in her home, who has died of <clears throat> seventy stab wounds, according to an autopsy report. What the fuck! No arrests have been made in the death of twenty-three-year-old Private First Class Kadia Duenas Aguilar, whose body was found in her Tennessee home in May near the Army post. Uh, again, no arrests have been made. Uh, the autopsy report from Montgomery County Medical Examiner's Office said that Duenas Aligar suffered 68 stab wounds to her neck and upper body. Jesus and Christ. and it's been ruled a homicide as a result of sharp force injuries. Uh, so a little bit about, about Aguilar. Uh, she was of Mesquite, Texas, enlisted in the Army in 2018 and a year later came to Fort Campbell on the Tennessee-Kentucky border. She was a member of the 101st Combat Aviation Brigade, 101st Airborne Division. Her family and the League of United Latin American Citizens had offered a reward of $55,000 for any information leading to an arrest and conviction. Clarksville Police and Army criminal investigators are working together on the investigation. That, 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 like, that turns my stomach inside out. 
Yeah. Like that shit. That ain't cool. Like that's just that's just fucking scary, right? Yeah. Like <clears throat> I hope I hope they find I hope they find whoever did it. Freaking yeah. Yeah. Um do you want creatine in your MREs? I don't know. That's kind of an interesting question. Yeah, so a provision included in the House version of the 2025 National Defense Authorization Act is calling for the addition of a popular muscle-building supplement to the military tradition meal, ready-to-eat rations. The House Mm -hmm. Armed Services Committee called for the Pentagon to add creatine to MREs in a committee report accompanied to the NDAA sweeping legislation that Congress must pass annually to determine defense spending. A broad body of clinical research has shown that creatine can enhance muscle growth, physical performance, strength training, post-exercise recovery, and injury prevention. That's kind of where I was like, I could see it maybe like a week into a fucking FTX. You yeah. You know what I mean? Like maybe like you don't need that shit like every day, like, but maybe like once a week. <clears throat> you know what I mean? To yeah. Start, like, to like recover a little bit. Like, it's like. You go on those like two, two, three week long uh, exercises. You know, you start to get you start to get crusty pretty quick. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And you can use after like usually after the first week, you can kind of use like a recharge, like a reset. You know what I mean? Because it it gets it gets nasty out there in the field. It gets nasty. So, <clears throat> now, so uh, I this... mean, when go ahead. when I was in, I carried, I would take Ziploc bags and just put my one scoop or two scoop of my pre-workout in a fucking Ziploc bag and throw it in my fucking rock. I've seen plenty of people. I've seen plenty of people do that too. And then, you know, I'd have my, my blender bottle in my bag too. And then just when it was time, I'd take some water from my canteen, drop that down in the morning to. I had a, I had a battery powered blend, uh, blender uh, cup. I guess it would, I guess it would really just depend on if, if you, if you want to use creatine as a supplement, you know what I mean? I've, I've never, was, I've never I've been never a big really, fan of creatine. I wasn't. I've I've used it in the past. I like the vanilla it, one. It, it's been so, it's been so long since I've used supplements at all. It like it's been fifteen years probably since I've used supplements like at all. Like I, I don't I don't I don't usually use supplements whatsoever. So it's been a long time. Long the only time. the only thing I use now mm-hmm. before I go to the gym is pre workout, and that's just to give me that energy boost. <laughs> fucking Cardenas, dude, you son of a bitch, dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> fucking God damn it. Nah, perfect timing. Essay on, essay on. That's well, fucking I mean, hilarious. shit. I've done a fucking dry scoop of pre workout on this fucking podcast before. Yes, you, you did. You have. Yes, you have. Yeah, it did not look friendly either. Oh, actually, hard. and you took that because I practically had a heart attack from drinking a fucking G Fuel. Uh, Army yeah, Grant. I think I had a can of G Fuel when I did a dry scoop of the fucking pre workout yep. and then drank a can of G Fuel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how your heart hasn't stopped yet. Yeah. Because uh, when it's Grant- my time, it's my time. Fuck it. <laughs> Shit. The next one Army Grant's 271 recruits a second chance through a medical waiver. A pilot program initiated in April that gives Army doctors at military and processing facilities broad authority to grant waivers for low-risk medical conditions has gone so well that the service may make it permanent. And the one-star general heading the Army's medical process and augmentation team. Additionally, she told the Army Times that the service has also offered a second chance to hundreds of would-be recruits who were previously denied wafers. Brigadier General Catherine Simonson, who is also a registered nurse and deputy commanding general for the medical arm of the U.S. Army Recruiting Command, spoke candidly at a late June meeting at the Defense advisory committee on women and on the services about how military's new electronic health record had extended the recruit processing timeline and increased the workload for staff without meaningfully increasing the number of medical disqualifications. What do you guys, what do you guys think about this? I think that, I think this is big. This, this is big. Well, anytime when, when there's, when there's a need, these, some of these standards will change and this gives people, like you said previously disqualified but maybe they maybe they can come back for round 2 and get a, and get a waiver you know what i mean yeah. if if they I, were, 
and, and especially, I mean, considering that we're like, we're an all volunteer force, it's kind of hard. Like sometimes you do have to take what you can get because th these are people that are actually signing up willingly to do or to go into whatever, you know, branch of service, whatever the army, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like they're willing, they're, vo they're volunteering. So if they want in that, if they want in that bad, it might be worth taking a second look, even if they get disqualified like the first time. It might be worth taking a second look. Sometimes. I so. I never saw an issue. I mean, I I understand some some things, right? I understand some things. Uh, maybe breathing issues or something with your feet. I uh, but I just think that this is such a great opportunity for people who are just so passionate about wanting to join and having that chance to actually do it. Cardenas, it's a win. Those who want to serve will push through and persevere until accepted. And yep. that's that's the thing. Yep. I, I know I know plenty of people, even people who are in the, our DD214 Network Facebook group who didn't serve and they're just huge supporters. And they're just like, I wish well, I could do this. That's like my neighbor that uh, that, you know, we hang out with a lot and do cookouts and fucking car and and shit like that. He he tried to go in and got turned away because he has psoriasis. That's right. not a life threatening medical condition. That's, you know dry itchy patchy skin like yeah. you know people like that could get in finally and i don't see that being an issue yeah, this is interesting too because like uh like jam and jet says recruiters will make goal goals could be made if if you know if this is made permanent well yeah well it's it's like i said when in, anytime there's a when there's a need the standards will change based on the needs right so it's whether whether we whether we consider this raising or lowering the bar it doesn't really matter. Do like tell the uh, the uh, the army the army the army is going to get what the army needs. You know what I mean? Like that's that's why the army goes rolling along. Mm -hmm. So that's so interesting, man. And and I mean mm -hmm. this is this is so cool. I can't wait to hear like some of my friends who have like maybe like a small foot problem or a small hand problem. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, I was good. Yeah, Cardin. I dude, I'm I'm a fucking GWAP baby with Cardenas here, and like we went we went to basic training with with fellas, straight, freaking, like criminals, like straight criminals. Like, and they yeah. and, how, and how did they adapt? Most most of them did well, but the there were there were some shitheads, and that's that was yeah. that was that was my entire career. I mean, that's just, that's just yeah. There's always going to be the shitheads, and so and some of the fucking shitheads slipped through the cracks and end up making rank, and so like there's 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 those ones too. So it, it it is what it is, but for the most part, I'd say most people did pretty well. For the most part, like yeah. people, people weren't out there to be buddy fuckers. You know what I mean? They like they wanted we wanted to do our work during the day, go home at night. You know what I mean? Chill. He's not wrong. No, I believe it. And you know wrong. what's so interesting about that is that it really goes to show, like, I mean, in all aspects you know, from prison to a civilian life or even the military life, it just, it just, it works, you know, it does help, you know, yeah. you, 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 you have, you know, if you have, if you have a, a, a specific perspective and mentality of life that mm -hmm. doesn't fit according to a civilian life, check out the military, it, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's done wonders for a lot of people. You know what I mean? You know, like there's, how there's, do you, like, how does a recruiter say, hey, you want to go kill fucking enemies for free and get paid for it? You know, like... I mean, in theory, you could. I mean, that, that might not be the most tactful way of putting it, but in theory... From SA to Master Chief. <laughs> I'm going to look that up right now. Hang on. <laughs> but yeah, that's like... we, we it, 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 was kind of, it was kind of fun being... In the in like in the middle of the height of like GWAT era, because like there was there was definitely some fucking characters in the ranks. There was definitely some fucking characters in the ranks. It's essay to Master Hefe, is the actual name of the book. It's by Paul, Raul R. Ramos, and it's from Street Gang Life in South Central Los Angeles to U.S. Navy Master Chief. Dope. I need to read that shit. Uh, let me see. Recruiters would kick ac applicants to the government. They would say, I would do my magic. You're the you're the waiver king, Jam and Jet. He was from MS-13. Dude, you want to know something? I grew up in a town that was, like, full. Like, the whole town was MS-13. 
Very interesting. And this, I wonder if they'll ever make a movie out of this. I'm going to check this out. He brings you his, he, Raul Ramos brings you his emotional, raw, and inspiring autobiography. Follow along in his uplifting journey from street gang life in South Central Los Angeles to earning the rank of Master Chief in the United States Navy. His one of a kind story is certain to motivate and remind you that you control your destiny no matter what hand you were dealt. Nice. <clears throat> Fucking A. Thank you, Cardenas. That uh, that's a good one. I think I might have to look look into that. Check that one out. So yeah. So yeah, I had a bitch problem when I was younger. I wimped out. Now signed the paperwork, and Sergeant Ruff was pissed at me. When I was younger. I wimped out. Now signed the paperwork. You know, they, they they always want you to sign the paperwork, but they never want to give you information bef- before they do. That's the funny part right. about the military. Right. Uh, kind of oh. going into correlation with what we were talking about. Um, mm-hmm. The Marine Corps has brought in more than 101% of its recruiting target for the year to date, up from 100% from this time in 2023. The Navy is expecting to fall short for a second, for a second consecutive year. Uh, but this is according to military officials who testified before the Defense Advisory Committee on Women in the Services during the committee's quarterly meeting on June 25th in Arlington, Virginia. Uh, the Air Force and Army, which have struggled in the past two years to meet recruiting goals, have indicated they are on track to make a mission. Uh, but the Marine Corps has already brought in 12, Four, almost 13. Yeah. John, Marine what? Corps. Marine Corps. Sorry, sorry. The Marines already have brought in 12,924 contracts above its year-to-date goal of 12,751. According to the documents presented by Sergeant Alan Goodyear, the senior enlisted advisor for the Marines Recruiting Command. Yeah, I skipped the word. It sounds it sounds it sounds to me like most most of the branches are starting to make their their goals and I think a lot of it has to do with like the cost the standard of living out out here in in the in the world it's like people like like you can you live you kind of live okay in the military you know what i mean it might not might not be the best but it sure shit ain't the worst you know what i mean and that's like kind of uh i don't know like if you if you stay in long enough and you make enough rank like you'd be doing all right you'd be doing all right so i think maybe some people are starting to starting to realize that so yeah it, it, it won't surprise me if they you know, if if everybody makes their goals this year, it won't surprise me. Good. That that's that's a positive outlook coming from Jay. Well, very very positive. I think in these uh, in in these uh, interesting times that we live in, uh, you you normally see uh, more of a push more of a push towards service um, with the with corresponding generations, basically. Yeah. So I think that's probably just a, a wave of it. A wave of it is probably coming. Uh, here in the next couple of years. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's also this thing going on with um, the Pentagon shutting down Gaza Pier. You hear, are you, are you, I think that's yeah, breaking. They, you know anything about that? Yeah. They, the, they tried to re like reinstall it basically. And it, it failed or they're like, they just mission incomplete basically. And they're, they're kind of just done. They're like, they, they're pulling out. So like that, there's other there are other ways to get food into 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 Gaza. Mm-hmm. So that's not the only one. That was just something that the U.S. military uh, had a hand in, basically. Interesting. So, okay. So yeah, so that that's a fail. Yeah, mission incomplete. Yep. And now, what was this for? This was to get aid into Gaza. Yeah. It was like a floating or like a like a, fl- a floating pier, basically. Okay. Um, to get to offload supplies, basically. So now with this failing, no supplies can come in. No, no, no. There, there's still other ways to get supplies in there. That's not. Okay. That is, that is not. It. That's just. It won't be like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So. Um. Let me see. Uh. Military leaks going on Discord. Yeah. That's see. That's been a problem lately. Yeah. Um, War Thunder. We we all know the, the shit going on with War Thunder. How people are constantly leaking shit. What do you? What are your thoughts on? military leaks going on discord jay dude opsec 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 what in the fuck dude son of a that, bitch like 
Go ahead. Go ahead, Joe. That fucking War Thunder server has had more fucking leaks than my fucking John boat that I had for 30 years. The family's John boat at one point. It's just that fucking that Discord server just needs to be fucking yeah. shut down. And did you hear that just uh, like maybe two <laughs> weeks ago they put up a bless you he put they put up a promotional uh, a promotion for their game right and in the background of the picture was the disaster of the challenger. I don't I don't no mas fucking yeah. Discord dude. fucking Discord dude. Yeah, that's why Jay barely uses it. Yeah, I, well, it's it's not it's not that I I I feel personally like unsafe there. It's just oh it, yeah, it, you know what I mean. It's it's just not it's not my bag. And then you got and then you got like the 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 squealers who like to put all of, all the fucking business out there on these servers. You know what I mean? And that's like that's what you get. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I have here that there was a uh, a National Guard member named Tax Tejera who sent 40,000 messages on an online chat platform which contained classified national security secrets. 40,000 messages. 22 <sighs> years old. A 22-year-old. Mm. He's going to be going to be in jail for a while too, probably. Uh, yeah, he was arrested uh, in 2023. Um, he had been studying Discord and its users for three years and had created an online consortium of other ac academic researchers who were doing the same. And yeah, he was putting shit out there. He was letting out secrets, military secrets. Fucking boo. Boo. And, and it's funny. And it's funny here because Discord says Discord is about giving people the power to create a space to find belonging in their lives. Okay. What? Sounds like Clinton. Now, here comes the last story that I have for the day. Uh -huh. um, all right. Let's. Um, I think you're going to like this one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's Officials have arrested a New York Army National Guard military police officer, a supply specialist, and a civilian employee with the Air National Guard for allegedly helping steal tens of thousands of dollars worth of military-grade equipment from the New York military units that was later sold to the general public. Holy shit. The, like the New what? York State. Uh, so the picture that's here, there is uh, an AR, uh, a modified AR-15 with a long scope. Uh, vests, helmets, radios, nods. Goddamn, dude. Yeah, so it says here that uh, Gordon Reynolds, uh, who was assigned to the 202nd Military Police Detachment in New York, was accused of participating in a scheme to pilfer and then profit off the gear. Uh, the unit supply specialist assigned to Company D and a... And a civilian employed at the 174th were also arrested for alleged connection with the plot. Uh, they said that they recovered thousands of dollars of equipment from Texas, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Florida, and New York. An image shared in the statement depicts radios and other equipment retrieved by the law enforcement, along with two rifles. In one instance, investigators recovered a ballistic vest that was being reshipped to Russia. God damn, dude. Like, uh, okay, and I mean, this had why we have this, jails. This, this have just jails. happened earlier in a scrapyard near Fort Drum, too. Um, there th about brass casings. Did you hear about that a couple a while back? I I have an idea what you're talking about. Yeah, right? yeah. But you know, the people, brass people start pilfering, basically. Like that's yeah, exactly exactly what it is. exactly what it is. That's mm -hmm. like, yeah. That, so somebody, somebody, always, somebody always wants to get greedy, don't they, John? Yeah, and I mean, look, it's interesting, too, because we had a guy um, in my unit when I was in Fort Benning. He lost his um, his 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 helmet. ACH, yeah. Yeah, his ACH, excuse me. And they, I, fuck, they charged him a couple thousand just for that, you know? That's possible, depending. You know? And uh, this, this, is, uh, this is a big thing. Just don't steal the shit, but, like, that right. stuff that stuff is one dangerous 
Um, nods especially have radiation. Don't they have radiation? Like you're not supposed to go on planes like with them. Radiation, but uh, the, they're 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 military grade. It's military grade hardware. Like yeah. Like what do you need nods for? Like there's only one there's only one reason why you, unless you're doing some kind of like night hunting. hunting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, there's only a couple reasons why you would need nods. I know, and and and, 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 and Squalini's yeah. turning around, yeah. and I'm about to go to my well, cabinet well, and close and close best, my glass door. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best part. If you have nods, the 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 understanding would be you, you probably have like a PEC 15 or something too. So like, cause yeah, then you can see see lasers in the dark, basically, right? Me, me and Squalini are just like this because I know he has one, and he knows I have one. <laughs> That's, that's, the, that's the joke. That's the joke. The, the 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 one you have the one that came with fucking Call of Duty, though, don't you? Yeah, but it was good. Yeah, it's yeah, a nice. It's not a real nods. One. It's the newer one, not the it's old not one. Not real nods. It's it's pretty good. It works. It gives it gives me the fucking night vision I need. That's all you need. That's I don't need, need it to do much. I really don't need it to do much. I just need <laughs> to see at night. Fair. That's fair. I'm not yeah, over I here. I, I, I mean, just like I also don't need a thermal scope on my fucking rifle, but you know what I have on my rifle? A fucking thermal scope. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, <laughs> listen, I think that's debatable, but right? I the, think the difference no. between Nogs and a fucking thermal scope is I can go to any gun store and buy a thermal scope. Yeah, you but can't you go to but, any gun store and, store and buy Nogs. Yeah, but <laughs> right? you know, but you're also, oh shit, I lost my thought. <laughs> You know, but but you're also using the scope, though. You're physically using the scope more than you would probably use the nods, depending on the situation that you're in. Depending, yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's 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 basically why you would have nods. If you're, if, but would if you're, you? If you're, if you're conducting, if you're conducting movement at night after dark for extended periods of time, that's what nods are for. So, like, when you can't, when you, when, it, when it's too dark and you can't see. <laughs> You have a real good point there, Cardenas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is he talking about like when like the side of it goes black or something, Dude, and you can barely um, see the fucking shit? I, I there were a lot of uh, what I would call like th there's there's issues with some of the equipment, and sometimes there's issues with the people using it, right? But yeah, there's there are nights where there are nights, and I I, I can think of many 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 field exercises over the years. I, I just said fuck it and flip flip my nods up because I could see goddamn better without them. You know what I well, mean? Well, your like, your eyes get adjusted. Like, your eyes basically, uh, they adjust. Basically, yeah, basically. I mean, mm -hmm. fun functionally, and it's it's still dark as shit. It's fucking rainy and windy and fucking cold and fuck the world right now. You know what I mean? Like you're it's it's it, it's you know zero zero dark fuck you in the morning. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Goddamn, like, and the, and and your fucking and and your nods and your nods aren't, <laughs> your, and your fucking NVGs aren't even fucking doing anything for you. You know what I mean? It's just like you know what? Fuck it all. Fuck it all. Just flip them bitches up, dude. And just fucking carry on. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah. Anywho. <clears throat> yep. Oh shit. A lot, of, a lot of shit is hard to see under un, under nods. A lot of shit is hard to see, and you have to be careful. It's like that was like that was like my my little Fort 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 Carson era. Like all the goddamn field exercises we did out there, up, out behind Fort Carson, fucking yeah. like that shit, like under and especially like under 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 night vision, it's night, it's it's a totally different place under night vision. Yeah, I I used to way. I used to like doing the night the nighttime training. Sure, sure. Those, those, those are those are pretty fun to see, you know, to kind of learn how the nods worked and stuff like that. A lot that was, of, and a lot of them are fun. A lot of them, they, you do see some cool shit, right? You know, you I think. Cool I think like for me, that was like my first time like doing the whole like walk with the weapon down, look up, shoot, tracer. And I'm just yeah. like, whoa, whoa, this is cool. I remember like I remember like doing it the first time. I'm just like, holy shit, I'm a fucking badass, you know, and then like looking over to the left and right and seeing like all the uh, like everybody else training with me like, yo, like. We're yeah, training to win. We're training that, to win. That's correct. That's that's soldiering. That's exactly it's <clears throat> exactly how the fuck it's supposed yeah. to be. I feel that's like training soldiering. so much training was so much fun though. <laughs> I enjoy mm -hmm. I I um <laughs> I've they, like that that I I can think of many, many times I had what you would call like a, a good time during tra during training, right? Yeah. And like it's not it's not like I 
hated going to the field because I, in, in, in reality, like that's part of the job is the training that you do to, for whatever your MOS is, like we, we train to fight and we fight to win, right? So there were a lot of exercises I remember doing where like, I was like, like you said, John, like, holy shit, that's fucking cool. You yeah. know what I mean? There was one, uh, one time we, 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 we did a, uh, a joint, joint live fire. So it was, it was freaking, uh, the green monsters. It was a, we, did, we were doing a joint live fire. So we had, uh, infantry, like us infantry on the ground, freaking with artillery going over, get, being shot over our head in front of us. And then after we freaking hit our objective, we started pulling back and a fucking an Apache gunship came down and fucking finished the job with like fucking with their goddamn, uh, hellfires and fucking, uh, was it 20? What does the Apache have, Joe? Is it 20 millimeter or 30 millimeter? Whatever. They, like they're fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like that shit. Like, and like seeing that shit live, John, like with live rounds, that shit was like, holy fuck, that was cool. You know what I mean? That shit's like, got to be cool. Oh, dude, I, I don't think I don't think my erection's gone away since. You know what I mean? Uh, what this? Like, <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Fucking Fort Fort Goddamn Leonard Wood. Yes, it gets dark. It's a uh, thirty millimeter. Thirty mic, mic. Okay. Yep. And I can I can uh, I can contest to that also, Cardenas. <laughs> yeah, it's dark as shit in fucking Mark, Mark Mark Twain National Forest, dude. Is is dark as fuck, bros. Like, take a take a battle buddy with you if you fucking camp down there. Take a bring battle some, buddy. Bring some nods. Yeah, bring some fucking nods. They're probably not gonna help though. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm trying to see if we got any breaking news before we. Uh... Well, they're probably still crying about yesterday. Almost guaranteed. Uh, yep, yep. That's. I mean, I mean, everything on military.com is everything about this. Um, it, it, I mean, it can't really be understated. It is a big fucking deal. It is a big fucking deal. You know what I mean? Like we can't, we can't exactly fucking ignore that particular elephant in the room. You know what I mean? Like, like we said earlier, we don't usually, we don't usually, uh, we don't usually do political song, song, songs and dances on this, on this, on this show, but. It's kind of a big deal when somebody tries to off the former president. This is a historical, you know? a historical yeah. moment in time, basically. And so we're, you know, yeah, we would be, uh, it, it would, it would be uh, in, intellect, intellectually dishonest of us if we didn't talk about it a little bit, right? So. I mean, it, it almost be like, you know, it, ha it just happened yesterday. We are, you right. know, we're veterans. We talk about veteran shit all the time, but we also mm -hmm. talk about it. one of the biggest things. I mean, between the three of us, is that we all enjoy history. Correct. That's you know, correct. we all enjoy, you know, American history, old and new. And this is this is something that's going to be marked in a history book. You know. Yeah. I uh. No. I wanna, no I, he's I right. Off the ride. I went off the ride. That's correct. Yeah. Political violence has no place in a polite society. We, uh, we, I think, I think you came in a little late, uh, Cardenas. We, we, we were on it a little bit earlier, but yeah, it's freaking, it is, it, it, it's exactly, it's an attack on democracy. It's an attack on, uh, our, our institutions that we, we hold so dear. We don't, we don't advocate, you know, for, uh, or wish, wish otherwise wishing physical harm on the people we don't like. That's not what we do in a polite society. So that's this is not how to get any messages across to any to anyone. It's not, you know. Anywho, yeah. yeah. One of the well, what the, well, you know, there's still many concerning things about this. I just, you know, just it's a shame that someone lost their life over this because well, of so much that. stupidity. Yeah, and 100%. it's 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 insane, man. It you know, again, we can't do this to candidates. It doesn't matter who you are, you know. Yep. You st you here in America, you still have a right. That, to, to be that, who you are correct and that was and mm -hmm. remains the former a former president he is a former president so regardless of how anybody feels this this or that way about the guy he is a former president there is something yeah. to be said there is something to be said about that particular institution as well so like he, the man the man deserves a little bit more than uh somebody taking pot shots at him okay that's yeah. not that is not how we that is not how we solve problems in the United States of America for the love of God. You know what I mean? 
And now, so, and now he's and now he's got a, a mark on his ear for the rest of his life because of it. Something something that will remind him every time he looks in that mirror and he looks hey, at that ear. You he know, got, he got. I I got it. I got. I, I still got to hand it to the guy. He got. He got up. Fucking. He got up. Fucking going hard, dude. Like I was like, I can respect it. I can respect that. You know, you know I mean? if if I was a kid, if, if I if I was like a child, you know, so oblivious to everything that's going on in the world, right? Just a pure mm -hmm. child, not even... And I was watching TV, and I saw that. I would have been like, whoa! Oh, yeah. It's more... Yeah, we, Gardenas, it's more um, Holyfield than Tyson, because you got to think Tyson took Holyfield's top ear. Yeah. Yeah, but that's pretty much... That's freaking... <laughs> hey, man. It's... Th 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 things things that make you go, hmm. Things that yep. make you go, hmm. I'll All tell right, you what, dude. We live. We live in interesting times, boys. We live in interesting times. We really do. It's it's a this is a GTA timeline if it's not one. Uh, but I'm, guys, I'm you. you know Harambe. what time it is. Do you guys have any final thoughts before we get to the final thought? No, I just want to wish everybody a good, uh, a happy week ahead, and uh, do do the uh, uh, as always, just a reminder to do the things that you need to do for yourself. Because we can't we can't take care of other people sometimes if we can't if we're not taking care of ourselves. So yep. kind of like a, a reminder for the, for the, uh, the self-check, the self-evaluation, uh, maybe this week upcoming, like give yourself a day or uh, a day or two and freaking give your, give yourself a good once over and, and, and check up on yourself. So that's all I got. Love <laughs> it. Squalini. I've got nothing this week. All right. Well guys, you already know what time it is. All right. One it's hot as fuck. Okay. It is hot as fuck okay yeah. and a Temper, lot of you guys tempers, tempers are getting short yeah yeah and a lot of you guys are are home alone a lot of you guys are staying home a lot of you guys are refusing to even leave the house very understandable very understandable but don't be alone too long because when you're alone too long there may be an instance where you may be sitting in your head um i've been watching a lot of the boys and uh, there's a character going through this mental crisis right now, and it's 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 super interesting, you know. Even even talking about certain things in pop culture, these little subtle messages of mental health are out there to kind of let you to kind of let you know, like, kind of make you think, like, am I going through this too? Is this something that I need to check on myself? You know. And it, it it really makes you it really makes you want to do better for yourself. You know, you start questioning, well, why do I feel this way? And you start misunderstanding how you're feeling or how you're making others feel. And you know, every day is a learning process. Every day is is a is a I mean the world the world is changing and people want us to adapt to it. And then others are sitting here saying that we're not, you're not going to put your finger in my chest. But I'm just saying that both sides are okay. Don't beat yourself over. Don't beat mm -hmm. yourself up over your own beliefs. You are your own person. Okay. Just because someone doesn't agree with you or someone doesn't feel the same way, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Right. You know, and, and sometimes these things really, it really kills somebody. You know, it really digs well, deep I, that, that, it, yeah when we when we get emotional sometimes we don't realize like you said always how or what we're feeling and how we're making other people feel when we get emotional and like when that shit pops off quick it like you can do a lot of damage like really quick without even re realizing what happened or possibly even remembering that it happened and what what might seem very flippant or offhanded can become uh, a burden and like a, a stumbling block to relationships that we have with people in our lives yeah so you know it, it that's why we that's why we do so, a self-evaluation you know every once in a while yeah I, mean? I, like, I i always ask a few people too if this is your last day on earth how how do you think you're going to be remembered and what are you going to do for the rest of the day to change that if you wanted to change it you know and that's the thing you can't change not, it in a day it's not a bad question to ask every once in a while. You know, it, it's not. So, guys, 
if you are feeling alone, down and out, if you're in your head, if you are in your world, don't be afraid to pick up the phone. You could call any of us, family, friend, stranger in the park, or you could call the National Suicide Hotline. You could text or call 988 or dial 1-800-273-8255. 1-800-273-TALK. It is absolutely important that you guys keep yourself mentally healthy because when you are mentally healthy you will be physically healthy and then after that the world is yours the world is fucking yours so guys again 988 or the 1-800-273-8255 1-800-273-TALK this is guys we do it every week and we're gonna do it every fucking week for the rest of our lives correct okay you could you could count that fucking blessing on a sunday Yep. Okay. Uh, so, Jet, hey, everybody, thank you for coming by. Jet, keep Absolutely. kicking ass at the YMCA. Hell yeah. Like, keep kicking ass. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. guys, it's guys like you that are making the world turn. Yep. That's right. Treat everybody, yourself. Everybody that joined us today, like, we really appreciate it. Cardenas, it's all uh, from the dungeon, Jam and Jet, uh, all, all y'all. Like, we really appreciate it. It's, it's, it's fun. It's, it's a lot more fun when we have a, uh, a, li- a little bit, a little bit of a live audience. So yeah, when we, we get enjoy, to, when we, we get to talk. having you guys. We absolutely enjoy mm-hmm. having you guys. So thank you very yeah. much. And guys, oh. you know where to find us in 168 hours. Squalini, Jay, I love you guys as always. Guys, we'll see you next week. Yes, sir.